So, today is going to be more of a sit down video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This is a lot different than what I normally post on this channel. But I thought since this is such a big impact on my life and the future of this YouTube channel, I thought I would go ahead and make this video. So if you read the title of this video, you know I officially got hired by the Tampa Bay Rays and I'm going to be working with them this season. I am so very excited for this opportunity to not only work even more around baseball, but also work with the organization. I love the Tampa Bay Rays. Over the last decade, I've been following the Rays and I'm so excited to pursue my dream job working with the Rays and moving up within the organization. So my love for baseball started in 2010 when my dad brought me to my first ever baseball game. It was the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers game one of the ALDS at Tropicana Field. But I remembered on the way to the game, I remember my dad explaining all the rules of baseball, the strike zone being a box. And I just remember him explaining everything about baseball and going to that game, that experience was incredible. For the next day, sitting at home at my little TV and watching the game on TV when the Rays were playing the Rangers in Texas. That really sparked my love for baseball, just going to that one Rays game. And ever since then, I've just fallen in love with the game of baseball. So growing up, since I fell in love with baseball and I loved it so much, I wanted to always go to Rays games, but I live over an hour from Tropicana Field, and then you got tickets, concessions, you know, gas money, and my dad worked a job. So it wasn't exactly easy to go to games. So I decided to try and make some money so I can pay for everything myself so what i did is i actually started to wash cars for money i would go up to houses wash cars get the money and then i would buy tickets myself now back then to buy tickets you can actually go to your local walmart and i believe even malls had a little ticket master inside and you could go up there and pay with cash so that's one of the main ways that i was able to get tickets and go to raise games when i was around 15 or 16 years old I actually started volunteering for baseball coaching for a little kid league, eight to 10 years old, I believe. And it was such a great experience going out there every Saturday morning and just being able to coach the kids, watch the main coach as well, and just being around the kids, helping them out. It was such an awesome experience. A few years ago, I actually tried out for my local high school team. I didn't make the team, but the coach saw hard work and work ethic, and he actually gave me a position to score keep for the team. Obviously, I wanted a spot on the team, but this was such an awesome experience being able to travel with the team. I actually helped during practice as well, and sometimes I would practice with the team while I'm at it. It was such a great experience. I did this for three years in a row up until COVID-19 and then I became a senior and that was about it. One of my favorite experiences at Tropicana Field was actually being able to see Carlos Pena retire. My dad entered to win a contest on the radio and he actually won tickets to the Rays game. He was able to get in contact with the Tampa Bay Rays and I was offered to go on the field before the game and hand the lineup card to the umpires. Being able to not only be around the umpires, be around the two managers, I believe at the time Joe Madden was the manager for the Tampa Bay Rays but that was such a cool experience because before all of that I got to see Carlos Pena retire I was on the field right behind him I actually saw him and his family take a selfie him and Evan Longoria actually took a picture together it was so cool and that was definitely one of my favorite memories ever being at Tropicana Field so that's my love of baseball 12 years of following the sport going to plenty of race games, going to the playoff game just recently against the Houston Astros at Tropicana Field in 2019. Baseball has been a massive part of my life and obviously the last year I've been doing baseball videos here on YouTube. And now I have the opportunity to go work for the Tampa Bay Rays, a team that I've been following since I was eight years old. So now that you're kind of caught up to speed on my love for baseball, So at the time, I didn't really think I would get the job just because I've applied over the last few years and I've never gotten a call back. It was just more of a, hey, I would love to work for the Rays. 
I'm just gonna apply just for fun, you know? And then this past Thursday, the 17th, I just got a phone call from the Tampa Bay Rays saying that they wanted me to go down to the Tropicana Field today and have an interview. Over the phone, they asked me a little bit about me. I explained my history with the Rays, going to games, being a huge baseball fan, doing these YouTube videos, and kind of my work history as well. So today I made the long drive from my home all the way down to St. Pete. The interview was scheduled for 3.30. I left very early and I got there around 2 p.m. So I was an hour and a half early and I ended up waiting until around 3 p.m. to go on in. So when I went up to the gate, they opened the door and there was security right there. I put my phone and wallet into a little basket. I went through the security checkpoint and then I got my stuff back and I went into a little executive office off to the left side and waited in there. After waiting for a few minutes, the person that was interviewing me came and got me and we walked and talked for a little bit and we actually went into the outfield and that's actually where the interview took place. I mean, if you ask me, just the interview alone was absolutely awesome. Having that view of the field when it was completely empty, that right there was definitely awesome. So during the interview, they only asked me a couple simple questions. I'm not gonna really talk about them because I don't know if I'm allowed, but they were very simple, just basic interview questions. And then there were actually two scenarios as well that I went over. And after that, we stood up and he walked me to the door and he kind of told me the next step of the hiring process. So I actually have orientation next Monday. I'm so very excited for this opportunity. I'm gonna get a tour of Tropicana Field, meet some front office staff, and then get my uniform and kind of know what my job is. So I was actually hired for fan host and my ultimate goal is to move up in the organization, whether it's simple as grounds crew or even just clubhouse manager where I just clean the clubhouse for the team in between home games and stuff like that. Anything that I can do at Tropicana Field, that is what I'm willing to do because I've been such a big fan of the Rays this is such a big part of my life that I'm just so excited to do anything for the Rays. And of course, I would absolutely love to be a manager, radio announcer, whatever it may be. I want to move up and be some kind of big name with the Rays. And yes, I will continue to post here on YouTube. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing daily just because it's going to get a little bit busy with games every single day. The long drive there, long drive back home. So I'm not sure if I will do daily, but I'm going to do my best to do that in the future. So guys, make sure you subscribe down below because I plan on in the future, ideally, I'm going to try and do some behind the scene videos, maybe have a tour of Tropicana Field where I can record for you guys. I really want this job to be not only a huge opportunity for me, but a opportunity to grow this channel even more and give you kind of an insight on baseball behind the scenes for MLB and the Tampa Bay Rays. So definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Lots of awesome stuff coming very soon. And of course, if you're at a Rays game, let me know on Twitter and maybe I can meet some of you guys. I'm so excited for this chance and I'm really excited to see the future of not only my career with the Rays, but my future with this YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support over the last year and a half. I really, really appreciate it. And anyone who has been watching and been supporting me since the beginning, thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you later. Let's go Rays.